Good morning, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 290 and 291 of the Fixing My Life series. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Raven and 291 days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. I was very unhappy and disappointed with what my life looked like and I had had enough. I was like, if I keep on this road, this is, I'm going to become that bitter, cranky person that I despise so much. I'm going to become that person. And so what I decided to do was make a list of about 10 to 12 things as a starting point of what I wanted to change about my life and fix in my life. Things like my sleep schedule, my water intake, my level of exercise, how many prayers a day I was doing, if I was reading the Quran, if I was exercising, what my diet was, things like that. And I decided to track my progress with each of those things every single day. And the goal is that by becoming more conscious of each of these things, I will hopefully develop some good habits and drop some bad habits along the way. So that is what this series is about. Welcome everyone, thank you for being here. I just figured why not um, do my morning skincare and talk about um, my days because I've been slacking a little bit in the video department. So this is gonna be a two for one deal. We're gonna be talking about Friday, day 290, and Saturday, which is due, day 291. So Friday morning, I woke up right on time for work, 8.30, which means I did not have my morning to myself to get prepared. So I woke up, I worked, and then around 1.30 or so, one o'clock, my mom came. So I kind of um, spent a little time with her. And that's the same day I used my lunch to sand the... Um, I used that my lunch to sand uh, one of the IKEA small tables that I had outside. That was the last table remaining that I needed to sand. So I did do that. And there was something else that I got done, but I, it's escaping my mind right now. I can't quite remember what that was. So that was the bulk of Friday. I spent time with my mom. We had the remaining hakka food. I made a glass of ruabza for her. And we just chilled and talked. And... I was so, so exhausted after I finished work and after I ate and after I chilled with my mom for a bit that I ended up napping for like an hour and a half. And then after my mom left around 10, 10, 15, I wanted to do something. I was like, bro, this is Friday night. Last Friday was so fun. And for those of you who missed that video, I went to D-Spot by myself and I just had a nice meal. It was absolutely wonderful. I got dressed up. It was so nice. Um, and I wanted to have a similar experience this time around, but at the same time, I was lazy as hell, okay? I was lazy. So instead, I decided to do a late night stream. So I did a late night stream of League. Um, I don't think it was a great night for League. I feel like I won one and I lost one. I think that's, I, I think I broke even, if I remember correctly. And then I went to sleep. And so far, regularly, I have been listening to the audiobook of The Woman in the Window. I'm on part three out of, I think it's out of 12 parts. So I'm, I'm, I'm trekking through, but I definitely feel that I put a sleep timer for 10 minutes. And the next day when I go back to listen um, to the part that the audiobook finished or left off on, I'm like, what the hell? Where did any of this happen? So I always have to rewind. Um, but then when I put it for five minutes, it's too short. So I feel like I sleep somewhere in between the five and ten minutes. Um, but there is no customizable um, sleep timer for the app that I use. So I'm going to keep it at ten minutes and I'm just going to keep doing the back um, rewinding. Um, so far, the book is not like, oh my god, I'm so invested. It's just like, it's a fun read. It's not too, too engaging, but like, I'm going with the flow. Um, I, I am determined to finish it, whether I like it or not, because I'm already so far in. And it is a book that has been turned into a movie that I want to watch. So I do want to compare the two because I love doing that. Um, I love to see what people who are remake... Um, adapting a movie uh, from a book chooses that what they choose to keep what they choose to change what is their vision of the character because in my mind I have a certain um, image of the main character things like that 
I feel like when you watch the movie before you read the book, it kind of does you a disservice because as the characters are speaking, as things are happening, you're relating it to the movie and the movie has already given you a setting, a house, characters, visually, um, like you'll be imagining the characters in the movie as opposed to create using your imagination to create characters by yourself, which I think is part of the fun of reading a book and then watching a movie and being like, huh, you thought she was a brunette, huh, I had a blonde in mind, like things like that, or wow, you really went for someone who has intense features and in my head she did not, or he did not have intense features, things like that. Um, so I've been reading the book. Oh, and I woke up for Fudger on Friday, Friday morning. I completely forgot to tell you guys. I woke up for Fudger and that felt so, so, so good. So good. Um, was it Fudger that, wait, was it Friday that I woke up for Fudger or was it Thursday? I can't remember, but, oh, Friday. Okay, so Thursday I woke up for Fudger. Friday, I prayed Isha, and that felt really wonderful. That felt really nice. And then Saturday, I prayed Usser, which is the third prayer of the day. So I have been doing like a, one prayer a day, which is not great, but it's also better than not doing any prayers. So I hope that this is the beginning of me slowly getting back into uh, praying regularly because, you know, don't forget, there was a time where I was doing at least three prayers a day on average, and that felt good. Honestly, on Friday, when I sat down in my living room and I prayed, it was so therapeutic, so therapeutic, and it felt just, just beautiful. So I always feel super peaceful when I pray, and I feel like because I am searching for peace and I want peace and I want to maintain peace, that's something that needs to become regulated in my life before anything else, before my sleep schedule, before, well, my sleep schedule would go hand in hand with that. It would help. Um, before working out, before this and that, like spiritual, like religiously, that's important for me first before anything else. Um, and then on Saturday, uh, I woke up, oh baby, Saturday was such a productive day, oh my goodness, I woke up with a mission, okay, Friday I had the bus, the bus, uh, the bus, the bed delivered, and Saturday I woke up with a mission that I'm gonna build this bed by myself, and I'm gonna get it out of the way, because Monday, mattress is coming, so... I turned on the stream and I streamed myself uh, assembling the bed and I would say the whole process took about two and a half hours. Not so bad if you think about it because the bed is rec uh, recommended to be assembled by two people but your girl did it by herself. I feel so so accomplished. Oh my god, are we done? Oh my god, are we done? Are we done? Oh my god, I think we're done. Oh lord have mercy. And then right after that, I took one of the um, IKEA tables that I had DC uh, sanded down and painted, and I DC fixed it slash contact papered it. I did a marble look with gold gold accents on the ends and on the legs as well, just like I did for the coffee table. And then I set it in the corner. And then after that, I had a nice meal. I sat down. I watched some Netflix. I 
just relaxed. And then after that, I had my first bath in this apartment. And let me tell you, it if you guys are able to have a bath, please, please, please experience it. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but at least if you can try it to see if you will like it. Um, I know I, whenever I tried it back in the day, I was like, yo, this is, this is the shit. This is the closest I'm going to get to a jacuzzi, so might as well live it up. And I had bought a uh, pillow from the dollar store that I used behind my head. So this is the pillow. It's got little suction cups on the back. And I used that in the back. And while I was in the tub and relaxing, um, oh, I put some bubbles lavender bubbles and I also put some lavender bath salts. I made a list of things that I needed to get done. So I used that time while I was relaxing to do that. I also don't think that I showed you guys, but I, I started compiling uh, like warning affirmations for myself or things that I thought would kind of get me in check in the morning. One day you won't be able to do what you can do today and this is specifically for those times where I randomly wake up like my body will wake me up much earlier than I'm supposed to wake up like at 6 or 7 and it's a work day or it's a weekend and a lot of times I will pee and then go back to sleep but I'm hoping that when I see this it encourages me to kind of make the most of the day and this is something I talk about a lot um, be open to good things, accept, recognize good things, be grateful for good things, and reflect on good things. And for me, that is those four are important because they've definitely helped me practice gratitude in a deeper manner and really um, feel like I'm living a fulfilling life, which is huge. Um, and then after all of that, after the bath, after chilling, I went on my computer, I worked a little bit on phasmophobia, a new phasmophobia video compilation that I'm working on. I also played a game of League, and then I headed out, met with a friend, um, met with a couple friends, and that was the end of the night. Got home, and then slept. I definitely feel like I have been really enjoying dressing up. It's been really nice actually wearing the stuff in my closet and feeling good. It, it, it makes me feel so good when I actually put effort into myself. Don't get me wrong. I definitely have those days where I like throw on some um, sweats or whatever it is and go out. But it's nice also actually wearing the stuff that's, that I have access to that's just been untouched. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about Friday and Saturday. I think both days I ended up with three bottles of water. I feel like that is where I'm averaging out. And I'm hoping Sunday will be uh, a better, at least four. Can we get the four, please? And uh, Saturday, what did I have to eat? So Saturday I had bubble tea. Saturday I made tea for myself. What else? Oh, I had the leftover burger from a few days ago. I had a leftover sandwich that my mom made me. And then that's it. I didn't actually have like a dinner meal meal. Um, and for Friday, I had the hakka food. And that's pretty much it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I haven't been crazily overeating or anything, which is great. All right, guys, as always, I am wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and happiness and goodness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my noom noos. And God willing, I'll see you all in the next video if I'm healthy and able. Take care and Raven out.